You look good. Thank you. You look good. I'm trying to grab you, squeeze you, and hold you tight. Because you look good. <laughs> Don't act like that because you know you would want more so wanting a kid than me. And you're a black woman too. So like the doctor didn't mention that because she's not black. <laughs> and you keep staring at me and you know, like you want to eat me or something. You hungry? This <laughs> Today... Y'all, it's no fluff. It's just real serious, more than ever than before. Y'all hear the kids. Y'all know what it is. We got them, two of them, if y'all don't know. I don't wanna play up this video and make it any formalities because I, we were having a discussion today. Yep. And all of a sudden, David decided that this would probably be a good YouTube video. If y'all new to the channel, um, we started this channel based off of us really wanting to have kids. Mm -hmm. It was such a hard time. It was messing with my mental. It was such a journey. It was like a two year process. If y'all haven't seen that journey, it is on my channel. It was a journey. I started back, I think it was 2013. Yeah. That was the foundation. Infertility, being a black woman, dealing with healthcare, being high risk from 19 weeks, or that I had an incompetent cervix. Coming back today, it is um, 2024 now, and we have two kids, uh, and they are about to be four and five. Yeah, one born in 2019 and one born in 2020. Yeah. The whole basis around the conversation and the purpose of this video is just have a honest, genuine conversation in front of you guys. Got the drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Today, what ended up happening was I went to the doctor for my annual pap smear, thinking I'm just getting my annual to end up having the discussion of future pens about whether we were going to start baby number three. What sparked it was age, right? Yeah, so even though your girl looks good <laughs> for her age, I would like to think. I'm 34 and I'll be 35 in like four or five months. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. It's crazy because I think that... You old. It's wild because <laughs> I forget my age all the time. So like the first thing that happens, okay, let me speak a little faster. The first thing that happens is I go in the doctor. December 2022, I got an IUD, Marina to be exact. I haven't seen the doctor since I got to put in. Truck driver, I've been gone, I've been in my age. I haven't got an update because I ain't feel like it was necessary. Although, you know, go get checked. So she wanted to do an update on that, how I've been doing. She wanted to check and see if it's placed in right, blah, 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 blah. She checked it, good to go. So then she started to talk about the future plans. What's going on? And I'm kind of like, mm, what you mean? She's like, you're about to be 35 soon. Mm. And I'm just like, well, damn. <laughs> I guess I am. Because in my head, I'm like 33. Snap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's, I ain't that's a good age to stay at. Yeah. Right? Now she's kind of like telling me like, you know, if you're going to have another kid, like, we need to talk about like getting a marina taken out and you just start trying because you're high risk you're going to be pretty much high risk or you have a high chance that's what she was saying because you're older now about time you have a kid even if you start now you'll be 36 <laughs> and i'm like oh shoot you're right y'all know every time y'all ask me it's a no i don't want no kids i get a ooh <laughs> every time y'all ask me yeah, because I remember, I revert back. To think about the reality of that, the kids won't be out of school for what? Both of them won't be out of school for like another two years. Daycare, daycare by the way. So that means that the reality of that is in two years, 37, don't have a kid till I'm 38. Don't want to have a kid, there is an option. Because I was telling her how I have crazy menstrual cycles. And when I tell you I have crazy menstrual cycles, it's not painful, but I can have them for two weeks, 
three weeks. I had it for a month before. They're always heavy. So she said, I have the option of doing endometrial abrasion. So the procedure is for the abrasion is they stick water up there, squirt water in your uterus. Hot water. Wait, I'm telling you how it goes. Oh, okay. <laughs> squirt water up there. They squirt water up there. Ain't, ain't nothing, you know, you do that already. That's fine. Yeah. And it sits there. Mm -hmm. Then they stick a tool up there and heat the water that they squirted up there. And it becomes boiling water to where it becomes third degree burns of your whole wall. So the wall that's in your uterus, I believe, is what secretes the blood to create your periods. Okay. So that's the reason why they're burning it so it can't produce the blood. Right. Which is their goal. It doesn't mean that it's going to work because mm -hmm. it's still a chance that it may not work. Mm -hmm. Is it new? I don't believe so, but I don't know. Okay. It's day one. Mm -hmm. But it has a high chance of you not being able to get pregnant. They don't even offer it to you until you're in your mid-30s. They don't even offer it to you until you, until you almost certain that you don't want no more kids because there's a high chance that you can't have kids. Mm -hmm. I also discovered there's a high chance that you, even if you could have a kid, mm -hmm. That you shouldn't have a kid because then you... It's going to be hard pregnancy. High risk. Also, nine times out of ten, you may end up having to have a hysterectomy anyway. Mm -hmm. Now, I seen something today which makes me not, probably not going to do it. Which I'm still doing research, so I don't know how true what I saw. But I saw a video that said that you can get it done, but then if you ever need to get a biopsy... They wouldn't be able to check for like cervical cancer. So what's the point of it? It's just, is it cheaper or something? Or it's just an easier it's operation? For the, for the menstrual cycles. So it's solely to take away the menstrual cycles. Right. Okay. Right. It's not for the pregnancy, but it can stop you from having pregnancies because mm -hmm. of that. But it's not the purpose. Purpose is the menstrual cycle, but along with it, you won't get pregnant probably. Yeah, um, you got uh, hysterectomy. That just sounds like surgery. It's surgery. Yeah, it sounds like surgery. <laughs> I asked her about the whole hormonal issues that I always hear about people who have hysterectomy. And she was like, I wouldn't have any hormon hormonal issues because of my age, they wouldn't take out the the fallopian tube. Fallopian tube. That has to do with the hormones. I could be using the wrong words, but this is how she worded it. Instead of removing them, they would keep them, but just reattach the walls to where everything would still kind of be there, but it'll make it useless. Pretty much how she said it. So she's just gonna attach them to your walls. Yeah. And if you ever want them back, no. no, you can't reverse it. She oh. already told me. Oh, okay. So you can't reverse it. Yeah, you can't reverse it. So it's not like something reverse. Once you do it, it's it's going to be useless. And she said down the road that if anything, if necessary, they'll just completely remove it. But they just keep it there for your hormones? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She was like, if your hormones are good, we want them. Mm -hmm. And then there is tube type. Okay. Heard of that. So with tubes tied, those are solely for no pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Now with tubes tied, you can still get pregnant potentially because you're still producing hormones. Are you still having your menstrual cycles and all that stuff too? <coughs> I don't remember. I feel like she said you are less likely to have periods. Periods. I feel like she said you don't have it, but I'm not sure because it was connected to all the conversations. It's the sole purpose of not having kids. Mm -hmm. She also did say to make sure I don't have kids, I can have the abrasion with the two tie as well. So those are the three things. I still got to look more on two sides, so I don't really know much because I have a lot of time. Now to the meat of the conversation as to... Why we wanted to bring it to you guys. No. Bump them. I love y'all. <laughs> okay. Now it's time to like reality check this. Well, it's kind of like... Figure yeah. out what do we want to do? What do we want to do? Yeah, they ain't having the kids. What do we want to do? Because y'all know. 
I ain't thinking about having no kids. But, but now, it, now like this whole appointment is just kind of like put the pressure on. It's like, well, you either gonna have them now or you're not gonna have them at all. Right. So then I know I'm a spring chicken, but it ain't that spring. <laughs> so then we gotta look at our lives and be like, are we ready for a third? Stop talking and talk to me. A third. Are you ready for a third? Hyperventilating here. A third. I thought we had time. I, th- I thought we had time. <laughs> yeah, I thought we had time. This doctor appointment wasn't even supposed to be about, about this. It wasn't. So listen, right? This is how I see it. You know how you see like those older women... And then they have babies at an older age, and then everything is fine, and you're just like, yeah, I got time. I can wait. Like, you know, if it happens, it happens. I don't think we can think like that anymore, right? I ain't never thought like that. I, that's how I was, I was thinking. Of course, because you a guy. I'm a guy, yeah. I knew what it was, but in reality, check, I got more hit reality with how old I'm actually in. Yeah, no, your butt was third, fourth. <laughs> <laughs> going on 35. <laughs> thought you was 23 out here. Uh-huh. I thought I was like, just turned 29. <laughs> Come here calling me old, focusing on my age. Yeah. And I ain't even that much older than you. Dang, you about to be. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey. You right there. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you, you, hey, t- you, hey. you tip it. Hey. You tip it. Hey. You tip it. I feel like. I'm 35, right? Now, now, like, after this conversation, I feel like that means I'm, at, be a 40. I, I'm at the halfway mark of my life. What you mean you feel like you are? I'm at the halfway mark of my life, and then, like, let's say I have a life expectancy of 70 or whatever. I only got 35 years left. Don't be counting the time, either. That's morbid. Don't be counting the time. <laughs> <laughs> Always Wait a minute. Some... No, we've been Yeah, yeah, we all, all, no. we all about a tangent, Wait. right? right. Wait, Wait, it's right. you talking about old ladies. My bad, my bad. You know I want to be old. But why are we talking about this? I don't know. We talking <laughs> about having a third kid. You over here talking about, oh, I thought we had time and old ladies. Why did you cut me up to talk about this? Because this is raw. It's how our conversations be going. <laughs> it always be him. It always be him trying to will him back in. <laughs> Sorry. And then he be making me go with him. <laughs> God. You know I would, you know I always I always talked about sitting on the porch with my rocking chair. Never mind, love. Let's not go into it. Yep. Three hours. This is why men think the way they think, because they always think they got time because they ain't never been through nothing. We do always think we got time. That's why we are a little bit more optimistic about life and about different things because we think. Hold on, wait. We got <gasps> kids. Distraction, y'all. Kids. So, willing this one back in. After talking about how old we are. Stop. Sorry. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get into it. I'm with you. No, you're not. <laughs> you over there. <laughs> This is serious stuff. Sorry. I'm panicking. I know. I know. <laughs> it's, it's, it's hard. It's tough. I know. I'm panicking out here. I know. <laughs> I, mm. So this is, this is what it comes down to, right? The reality is if we had another kid, No, nah, don't act like that because you know you would want more so want a kid than me. And you're a black woman too, so like the doctor didn't mention that because she's not black. <laughs> but you, have higher, you have higher risk in the older age because of that as well. Whoa. Sorry. You cut that out. Calm down. You cut that out. Calm yes. down, yes. Sorry. sir. Sorry. He's doing a lot. You you a sexy black. Oh. <laughs> Snap. <laughs> Twix <laughs> with the crunch. Is that your favorite? I have That's never seen That's your it. favorite. I know, but I never seen you eat it. I eat Twix. You know, my favorite used to be Butterfinger. But it's not my favorite as I got older because it like hurt my teeth. 
He didn't catch it, yeah. Oh, dang. I missed it. Damn. Throw it back. Mm -mm. Throw it back. It's gone. <laughs> I'm old. It's gone. <laughs> I'm old. Sorry. See, this is why. <laughs> Come on, get back on track. What's wrong with you? Man, stop playing. <laughs> Me. I need another vacation. We. Mm. <laughs> you know, that's what stuff we could be figuring out on this vacation. We're going to uh, Coco K, y'all. Bahamas and Coco K. Stop saying Bahamas. Nobody... She don't want to say she's going to the Bahamas. No, because we ain't going off the boat in Bahamas. We're going to dock there. Yeah, but we ain't getting off the boat. We're going to Senior Frogs. That's it. That's off the boat. Yeah, but our trip. We off topic right now, okay? Get on topic. You're right. Okay, listen. <laughs> I told y'all this was real wrong, cut. Listen, I ain't never let this. I'm almost done with my drink. Like I come ain't on never now. let this look like this. Like this. Like this. That... <laughs> I ain't never. That's how you know it's stress. It's yeah. the same drink, but hers is so much darker because she hasn't been drinking it. No, that's not true. You made yours different. Yeah, mine's blackberry. Look at you. You you don't like blackberry. No, nah, I don't like blackberry. Yeah. At least you know me. Yeah. Yeah. Get back on track, dang. Stop looking at me like that. Like you like me. I don't want to think about you. So you don't like me. <laughs> I was about to say what, but every time you <laughs> stop talking, let me do this now. Having a good time. Sorry. Come on. Now, don't make me feel bad because you having a good time. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Talk. Okay. Mm -hmm. Listen, y'all. Mm -hmm. Let me give you the truth. Mm -hmm. And y'all tell us what y'all would do and how y'all would feel in the scenario. Bitch, back up. <laughs> <laughs> back the fuck up. It's getting serious. The real tea is that if we have another child, the reality is I can't work for at least a year. The reality is if we had another child, we'd have to have another child. We'd have to try now and that other child will get here in. What are you doing? I'm talking to you. Why are you changing? Why, what is happening? My bad. Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm talking to you. My bad. Why are you talking about something else? I just said something. I was I was saying it too. Okay. No, you said something else. My bad. I'm trying to say what you said. Mm. We ain't gonna get through this video. Yeah, I'm trying to say what you no. said. Come on, girl. Stop. We about to have a baby right now. Get off me. Dang. Isaac. <laughs> you know that's your name too. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's, it's really, on your license. No, it's not. It's on your license. It's really not. <laughs> it's on your license. It's really not. You got to change. It's really not. That's your name, too. It's really not. Yeah. <laughs> it's really not. He's at. It's really you not. You got to answer to it, too. It's really not. Okay. Get on track, man. We trying to talk about something. If you... God, uh, Lee. Why you just can't follow? I'm trying to. You keep getting me off track. We gonna fight. <laughs> How? I can't fight with you no, every listen. time I look at you. I'm no, like, listen. Dang. Listen. Listen to me. Snack. Listen to me. <laughs> Lips juicy. Listen to me. Eyes glazing. I shouldn't have gave you the tequila. <laughs> Skin smooth. I shouldn't have gave you the tequila. Smell good. Listen. Hair flowing. Eyelashes popping. You blushing? You blushing? No. I'm oh, sorry. You embarrassed. I'm not bad. Sorry, I embarrassed her, y'all. I'm not embarrassed. Mm -hmm. I'm somewhere in between. <laughs> <laughs> she don't know how she feel right now. Got a flustered. Oh my god. Got a flustered. Listen. Uh, yes. We've been flowing through this conversation, which sparked this video. And now I, we got the camera on you on how to act. Because we was talking on the phone, and now you're right in front of me, and I'm, like, distracted. Don't nudge me. 
I'm distracted. Yeah, what am I gonna do? <laughs> what am I gonna do? Uh... Mm -hmm. <laughs> we, might, we might need to make another type of video. Uh -uh. <laughs> no, get off me! Mm -hmm. Get off me! <laughs> Listen. Y'all think it's me. He out in himself. It ain't me. Y'all think he good. Drop David coming out. I'm an angel. You ain't innocent. I'm your angel. You ain't never an angel I'm to me. I'm your angel. Mm-hmm. We supposed to be getting something. Saying though, you, and now he trying to I'm create saying, the baby. We can't even figure it no, out. No, I'm saying though, you not, you not like. You keep messing us up, man. I don't know. Just trying to do a video. Just trying to talk about what we came to talk about to the people, and you keep getting us off track. And you keep staring at me, and you know, like you trying to eat me or something. You hungry? This. <laughs> is you hungry you know it's all dark chocolate over here it's good for your body <laughs> it's good for your body it's good he's for on a rampage it's good for your heart mm -hmm. chocolate dark chocolate it's good for your heart look it up where you read that at look it up you better ask google hey google no man, you about, you getting us <laughs> off track, man. You getting us off track, man. Nah, no, we here man. now with it. We trying to talk about what we came to talk about to the people. Nah, you no, <laughs> no, you about to be out the wheel. Nah, nah, I messed up mm. your mojo, huh? You never mess up my mojo. My mojo always flowing. <laughs> <laughs> If you want to, shoot. This is about to be a whole nother video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she said she got a really drink for this. Because look, clearly I ain't drunk enough. It's the tequila. Tequila always is like my nemesis. <laughs> no, don't look at me like that. <laughs> Why I can't look at you like that? You look good. Thank you. You look good. I'm trying to grab you, squeeze you, and hold you tight, because you look good. <laughs> Who said that? I don't know. I made it up. Oh. I, I made it up right on the spot. That ain't even from a movie. It, no, Most of my what? stuff be from movies, but that ain't even from a movie. Why you do your mouth like that, dude? I don't know what I did. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to hold back and laugh and be serious at the same time, but you messing me up. Oh, my bad. I'll be out of this drink soon. You about to be out of luck too. <laughs> <laughs> you know I can't make my own drink. That's too bad. I need you. I need you. <laughs> <laughs> I like you, and I want you. Now we could do this the easy way or the hard way. The choice is yours. Where is that from? <laughs> that is creepy. Fleece Johnson. Who? Fleece Johnson. Is he like a basketball player? The booty warrior. That sounds like, like a game player. He like booty. Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> Where is that from? There's this guy in prison that did this interview and then they put it. Ew. And, and then they put it. <laughs> and, then, and then they put it on boondocks. But that's what, that's what he said. Oh. <laughs> Wait, so he's not like a real celebrity? He's he's a new age celebrity. You know how the new age celebrity is he a celebrity now? It's the new age celebrities are anybody that goes viral. Is so, he in jail? No, he's out of jail now, and he has a wife, but he says he still likes booty. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> he did an interview that says I'm married now and I got a wife, but she know I still like booty. I miss it. That's what he said. That's what he said. 
You got to get up to know with the people, man. That's that's Felice Johnson. Felice? I think his name is like Felice Johnson or something like that, yeah. You talking about me? You don't even know how to pronounce his name? Something like that. I don't know how to pronounce a lot of stuff. You know, I be making stuff up. That's true. And say it like it's facts. <laughs> and say it like it's facts. If I believe it, it's true. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He'll make you believe, it, believe a whole lot. Mm-hmm. I'm faded and feeling X-rated. It's Mr. Nasty time. You're supposed to go, ooh, Mr. Nasty time. Is that like one of Mr. the- Mr. Nasty time. Is that like one of the crumps or whatever? No, that's from Friday after next. Yeah. No, 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 not Friday. That's from next Friday. That's from next Friday with Day Day and them. Yeah. Seems like something that would be on like- like when it was Eddie Murphy movies. Nah, that's that's Uncle Elroy. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Voodoo Warrior for me. <laughs> but wait, what does that mean? What does what mean? All I meant was I, I said I like you. No, <laughs> I want to know what he meant. Oh, what he meant? He like booty. That's what he was in jail for so long. That's what that's his thing. Like. Like from, mm, yeah, call it what you want. <laughs> <laughs> That's his preference. Like, but wait, it. you stuck. <laughs> <laughs> wait, does that mean that her booty not good enough? I, I don't know. <laughs> Is that what you? No, I ain't saying that. I ain't say, I'm just saying what he said. I don't know. No, I don't because know. you said that his interview said that uh, he and, said oh that, oh yeah, because, oh no no he did say that she don't do that. Oh uh, yeah, see, she she don't see, do that. She don't do that. You saved him just then. Yeah, she, she, he said she don't do that. Don't do that. But you do that. <laughs> don't do that. You do that. Don't do that. You do that. Don't do that. I don't. I. I don't do that. You what? <laughs> oh, what? Oh, man. All right. I need another drink. Come on, man. <laughs> we are back. We got a full drink. Really full. Let's see if we can ring Drop David in. Hey, it's just not since you, too. Me? You've been drinking. You've been drinking. It's you, too. Oh, my arm wet. Look at you. Look at you. No, that's the Just cabinet. wet. Just wet all over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just calling out what I see. Okay. Maybe I need to stop doing this. Because every time I do this, this don't work. So, what we were talking about. David's trying to make another kid. And I'm trying to have the conversation. Before the kid is determined. <laughs> Doc said we ain't got no time. Sorry. And I feel like you making the decision. I ain't making no decision. Right. No, right. Don't, don't right. 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 Nope. I feel like I need to smack you nope. dead, dead in the face with ain't, reality. Ain't making because nude. you acting up. I ain't making no decision. You need to act. You acting None. up. None. Right. Nah. Yeah. None. Yeah. The reality is, is that if we decide to have another kid, Isaac... I wouldn't work for at least a year. Because having having three kids have a at that point a four and a five year old. We wouldn't be able to sustain having all three in daycare. No. So it's at least having one which would be out of daycare at that point in school by herself and having the other one at home with me and the infant and me not work or having them all homeschooled and me balancing the infant or not having to put it off. But the reality is if I had a kid, I couldn't work mm -hmm. because we couldn't afford it. That's just the... That's just the real of it. Mm -hmm. And then we're talking about we will have to get ready to do it now. So therefore, we'll have to start 
preparing to get diapers now. Bassinets, formula, bassinets, formula, changing the room, breastfeeding, arrangements, cribs. We just got rid of all our newborn stuff. Yep. We probably have to put the girls in the room together. Yep, and they be fighting. Or let's say beyond a year. So, like, what's the reality of being able to work with one in daycare? We would pay for after school so that they would get out of time, out of, out of it the same time as picking the baby up from daycare. Yeah. So it'd just be a, another expense. Which would negate because I, I couldn't work part time and have two in after school and one in daycare. He'd have to work full time. I would have to work full time. So remember when we was gonna do it for Nala, it was a hundred and seventy five dollars a week. Mm hmm. For full time. Times that by two and then daycare price for one. Well, I just know the daycare price for a baby is gonna be outrageous. Yeah, that was over well by that time, it'll probably be closer to three hundred dollars a week. Mm hmm. Just for the one kid. Mm-hmm. And then let's say it's two hundred a week per kid for after school. That's like seven hundred dollars a week. And right now we pay three like three thirty three a week. Right. So So it'll be a little double of what we pay right now. Yeah. Remember the holding the head up stage, maybe the sit up against stage? Yeah. The learning the walk stage. Yeah, the up every two hours stage. Like, those stages don't bother me. It's the variable of doing that with other kids. With other kids, that's the variable, yeah. So, mm -hmm. we determined that the realities of it will be difficult, right? Yeah. We have to start now. Like, now. Like, I would, like my IUD is pronto. Like, gone. Like, ex nay. Like, out of there. Like, never existed. Ejected. Yeah. Gone. Yeah. It's tough. And then if you, we did have a third kid, would you want a girl or a boy? I'm trying to figure out if I want a kid. I can't even... Pro I would have to accept having a kid to say if I want a boy or a girl. Mm -hmm. So you're neutral. Is that what we got? <laughs> <laughs> Is is that? See, man, don't listen. <laughs> I'm I'm having this debate because of you. No, I know. And I'm not trying to force you or anything. I'm trying to be genuinely open to the potential smidget idea of having this kid. And we're talking through this process because we have decisions to make. Because your girl older than she thought. Okay. <laughs> and, and the doctor told me she's not seeing me for a year. So by by the next time she see you, she want to know if yeah. you try to have that baby or not. So uh, this is the part I didn't say. I set an appointment for the conversation consultation. For, consultation, yeah. For the abrasion, and then we we're going to talk about the hysterectomy as well as the tooth type. Mm -hmm. So I have an appointment set. February six. Six, yeah. Feel like this is like the decision. Yeah. The conversation that you have yeah. to have with her when this you come back. This is why we're doing this. I know. So it's like, it, it's, it's smack dab of reality. Like, like would I genuinely consider one of having more kids? Or will I genuinely consider be happy if I never have any more kids? And honestly, if I think about it, I'm trying to talk through this, right? Mm-hmm. I really want another kid out of fear of never having that feeling of having another kid. But then it's like you think about your life and like where you're at right now and if you're prepared for another kid and it's like you don't have time. Even if you look back on my videos, all I've been talking about is where I want to go and me finally living my life. Y'all know your girl trying to get fit, fine, and sexy. Y'all know that we're finally getting some independent. Y'all know we don't have help. Ain't got no help. No shade, no tea. Having another kid means that it's, we're starting over that, that cycle. It's almost like a setback, even though that sounds bad. 
it it is like a setback. It's a setback and it's a it's a sacrifice. Yeah. That's just the realness of it. It's a beautiful sacrifice. But the reality is if we do that for me, the chances of me being able to really continue on in my career path is kind of like not likely. With you, you can keep doing what you're doing. But then it's like, it's like our life together too, because like it's going to be less freedom because who are we going to get to watch three kids? <laughs> this is another thing to think about too. What makes me nervous about the abrasion is because I do have a weak cervix. They said there's a chance that the boiling water can seep deeper into the tubes mm-hmm. and burn other parts. So I'm like, what is the chances of it burning like cervix or whatever? It it just don't sound good at all, like pushing boiling water up there. And then like the other thing, like from a guy's perspective is, will it feel different in there if it's a bunch of scar tissue? First. I wonder if the secretion will change. Like, will the wetness change? Will right. The, will the softness change? Will, like, yeah, what's 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 it from a, like, sexual perspective, like, mm-hmm. how it's going to feel in there? Right. Like, does it make it drier? Does it have an effect on hormones? We got to read that brochure. And because see. of that? Yeah. So, none of that sounds good. Yeah. It feels like we're more leaning towards maybe no kids. Un- How do you feel about that? I feel like it's a sad reality. It's it's a sad reality because you got to look at where your life is right now and if you're prepared for that. Yeah. And then you got to look at the consequences of if you wait later. Right. I thought it wouldn't be anything if you're like, you know, 40 or whatever. And then <laughs> you was plotting on me on 40. I wasn't plotting, but I just didn't think it would be because I know, I know people in my you're family. Like I know people, I just know people who have had it at that later age. Um, and then it'd just be like a different experience because your, your other kids are older. So they can kind of be your help in a sense, but the doctor appointment kind of puts it like in a bigger magnifying glass. I do think that on the other end of that, they all kind of do that just in case because they have to. Mm-hmm. Because the reality is it could go bad. You know, you could be healthy, but the chances of it is lower. Yeah. Do I feel like I'm at 100% or do I feel like I'm at 80%? A third kid, whether it's a boy or a girl, would feel like 100%. Because if I have another girl, I'm not having no more kids. And if I have a boy, I feel fin- I feel done as well. So I feel like complete. So it's that feeling of feeling complete. Mm-hmm. And right now I feel like I'm 80%. I think I feel like more so of, yeah, I think it just boils down to the whole FOMO feeling. The reality of having more kids isn't ideal. I would be open to having more kids. If y'all remember the postpartum anxiety, that is a huge reason why I'm afraid of having more kids. The reality is I worry if having more kids, if the postpartum anxiety will come back. I didn't get rid of my postpartum anxiety till last year. You never know what it's going to be like to become a parent, especially in my case where you fight so hard to have a kid, right? And I'm so incredibly blessed to have two. But you don't account for the lack of help, what it could do for your relationship, to your relationship, your mental health, your patience, your your time, your time. (laughs) I will have to completely rearrange my life and take a back seat and devote myself as a full time. I mean, I'm always a full time mother. Don't get me wrong. (laughs) 
don't get it twisted. It kind of feels like a morning in a sense. It just feels like it's not easy to have a kid in today's world. It's not easy to raise a kid. Especially you don't have expensive thing. You don't have a lot of help and everything's expensive. Yeah. And you lose yourself. Yeah. For what you need to do for your kids. So then it's like, all right, well, like, when am I gonna, uh, see, see, see? <laughs> oh, God. That's just kind of going to be the life. Uh, do you want to have a kid or not? Or if we don't want to have a kid, are you, what do you think about the possibility of tubes tied, hysterectomy, or you snip, snip? That's where I'm trying to get this video at. Okay. I feel like I'm good with R2. And it hurts to say that. I feel like I'm good with R2 kids that we have right now. Because life be lifing. And life ain't set up like that for another a third. Yeah. What do you think? I think the same thing. Because the reality is, if I got pregnant, I would panic. That's the truth. I would literally cry and panic if I got pregnant today. So, yeah, I think, I don't think I want to have more kids. I don't know though if I want to to go those routes as of yet. It's not because I, I don't want to do them because I'm afraid of having more kids. I'm more afraid of doing them for the potential side effects. I think I would be more okay with doing the vasectomy so that you don't have to go through those things. I need to do more research about a vasectomy yeah. and see what the side effects are and yeah, the reversibility would. of it and stuff like that. I do. Kn I have heard of people's growing back. Yeah. But I'm more so okay with taking the hit in that sense because I've seen the changes and hormone imbalance and stuff like that and what you have to go through. So I want to see you uplifted and and growing and and doing better and having less sacrifice uh, for our family and it's something that I think I can handle mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah you do yeah I think I can handle it no. would it bother you though like seriously I mean um it would probably bother me like 20%, but 80% of me would be good. Like overall, I, see, I have a vision and, and a, a sense of where I want our life to be. Like God forbid anything happened with us, would you be okay still not having more kids? Yeah. I'm, I am fulfilled. I like, like if you like would put me in a level of a bowl and if a bowl is all the way full and stuff like that, I'm at that 80% level. Like, I feel good with my two. Mm -hmm. I would just want to see, like, if I could possibly have a boy, but to have all those other things attached with having another kid, I'm okay with not having it. I just realized it probably looked like a meme, but <laughs> like, I'm just seriously trying to, like, you know, like, figure out, like, you know. Yeah. Like, it's because yeah. it's serious it's serious stuff and i would like to look more deep into it too but i have also seen trends of people who have decided to do the facet to be over with because it's like because i've already gone through postpartum anxiety very heavily i fear what doing those types of changes could do to my hormones and if it could cause like serious 
emotional mental health changes listen i just want you to be on the straight and narrow and if there's not a lot of like side effects or whatever for for what i can do and you know the the benefits look better on that side than to have you go through another sacrifice and that's what we'll do like there's no question about it so better you is a better better me and a better family so that's what that's the goal well she put the set to me on the paper mm -hmm. so maybe we can ask the questions as well yeah we can ask those questions and and look into it or whatever so it looks like we're officially I'm gonna have a third kid <laughs> no. no 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 it looks like we're officially done having more kids yeah so for those who have acts I think um, I don't think it makes sense doesn't make sense and we're getting glimpses of our future right now and I want to see more of that so right now it looks like we might be looking down the journey of possibly vasectomy who knows oh that'll be another video <laughs> like y'all it hurts so bad I don't think it would hurt <laughs> I don't know I ain't do my research so I gotta look at it this is gonna be the end I think it's probably time to cut this video off because this video was way longer way uncut <laughs> way unfiltered way raw than i thought it was gonna be but and we weird off but we came back to the, but the this landing is, ground this is how our conversations be probably not this wild as he was today but it'd be but it'd be it'd be real it'd be, yeah it'd be, it'd be real it'd be good it do yeah if y'all have any thoughts advice opinions help us Help us, Lord, help us, you help know? Please, yeah, help yeah, you me. know, cause to be continue on this topic. <laughs> and I guess we will let you know what happens at this stop this appointment. Jeez. Love you guys. Let's get out of here. <laughs> we got kids, y'all. We got kids. <laughs> <laughs>